You can tell Celtic are on holiday mode. It's ex-Celtic player central. Bitten has praised Scott Brown after his Celtic career has ended. But Brendan Rodgers tried to sell him to Espanyol. Bitten ended his career this season in an emotional exit but it could have been different. Nee Bitten has revealed Brendan Rodgers tried to ship him out to Espanyol. The Israeli played his final Celtic game against Motherwell on the final day of the season earlier this month. However, speaking to local press in his native country, the midfielder has explained how that fixture could have come a lot earlier than it did had Rodgers gotten his way. The Northern Irishman was not a huge fan of the midfielder and was willing to sell when the Spanish club came calling. But Bitten eventually stuck around and the rest is history. Let me tell you something no one knows. When Brendan Rodgers came to coach at Celtic, the club were in bad shape after losing the cup semi-final to Rangers, who were then playing in League 2. My former agent told me that Rodgers didn't have me and that the team was trying to get rid of me, and then an offer came from Espanyol. I'm a person with an ego. When they don't give me the chance, I'm going to show everyone what I'm worth. After a week of preparation for next season, Rodgers came up to me and said, Big Ben, you can play. It's your time. I smiled at him, and then I got a message from my agent, say, you're serious, what have you done? Now they won't sell you. I don't regret it, I stayed in a huge club. Another ex-Celtic player, Aidan McGiddy turned down Celtic return as winger admits regret over Ronnie Daler snub. Aidan McGiddy had the chance of a Celtic return but turned it down. The winger was offered another spell at Parkhead during Ronnie Daler's time in charge of the club, but opted out due to the team and style of play at the time. However, the Republic of Ireland International now regrets his decision, admitting he would have loved to play for Celtic again but knows the door is now closed for his in Glasgow's East End. Musa Dembele's Celtic transfer windfall alert as Leon face sell or lose dilemma. Red Hot Moussa Dembele enters the final year of his Lyon contract, with Celtic on alert for a potential transfer windfall. The Frenchman has netted 22 and 36 for his club in all competitions this season. That record includes a strike against Claremont this weekend. His finish against the League One strugglers took his tally to a staggering nine goals from his last eight. But with the French Giants all the way back in eighth in the league, Dembele could well be on the lookout for a new club in the summer. The likes of West Ham and Manchester United have both been credited with an interest in recent times and could easily both revisit the former hoop striker as an option. Leon missed out on European qualification which is likely to be a major factor to Dembele and his decision. Celts, should he be sold on for a hefty price, could be in line to land around 15% of any sell-on value which could potentially be worth a few million quid. Arta Borak has played his last game for Legia Warsaw and will leave the club when his contract expires next month. The Ultras group presented the former Celtic goalie with a commemorative sabre. The sword was waving around in front of the departing player before he got his hands on it. He's had a brilliant career. He'll always be remembered by Celtic fans for his big saves and his acts with the fans. After Celtic, the goalie joined Fiorentina before returning to the UK to play for Southampton and Bournemouth. He then returned to Legia Warsaw, the club he left to join Celtic. Celtic fans of a certain age will remember the top goalkeeper Arta was and how utterly bonkers he could be. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the